Hello gentlemen, Ark Survival Evolved is perhaps the best worst game I've ever played. Let me explain. Quick disclaimer, I have played this game for way too long before but it was on the Xbox. Recording footage on there is a pain and I frankly cannot be bothered so I will simply steal from others. Don't worry about it. Before we talk about the bad, we must first talk about the good. On that note, environments. This may be a controversial opinion, but Ark has some of the best looking and most unique environments I've ever seen in a game. The island, the first map added to the game, consists of a beautifully varied landscape with forests, snowy areas, mountains, and redwoods. Each part of this gigantic map is meticulously placed and ruins are scattered across the landscape. For a sense of scale, this is Dead Island, one of the locations. Here's how big I would be in game. And this is what it looks like compared to the entire map. And this is what the island looks like compared to every other map. Each map could honestly be talked about long enough to warrant its own video, but I'll give you a quick rundown of some of them. Scorched Earth consists of a massive desert with plateaus, sandstorms, lava filled ravines with dragons, and vast underground caves. Aberration is almost exclusively underground and has a lot more verticality than other maps. Crystal Isles has massive crystals protruding from its rock formations and also includes a winter biome, volcanic area, and desert. Extinction has a huge abandoned city, sprawling cave system, and biodomes with new spins on previously mentioned biomes. And with that, we move on to the next good thing, the music. The music is composed by Gareth Coker, who also made music for games such as Ori in the Blind Forest, Ori in the Will of the Wisps, and Halo Infinite. Most importantly, he also made the music for the Minecraft Xbox 360 minigames. This is not a joke, I am very surprised to discover that he created possibly one of the greatest pieces of music in any video game ever. Alright, all jokes aside, I have no idea why Microsoft decided to put in this much effort into a minigame soundtrack of all things. I unironically like these songs and will be using them from now on. This will get me copyright struck out of existence. And we've gotten sidetracked. Mr. Coker has really done an amazing job on the ARC soundtrack. There are dozens of songs made for almost every conceivable scenario and, for the most part, each biome of each map has its own combat theme in both day and night variants. So with all of that, you're probably thinking of playing the game. Don't. At its core, the game just isn't fun. The core gameplay loop involves taming new creatures to gain access to new areas or materials, and then going on to eventually defeat bosses for new equipment. The problem with this is that everything takes a painstakingly long amount of time. For example, taming a level 30 Triceratops, one of the most basic dinosaurs and likely one of the first you will get, takes 30 real life minutes with berries. All other foods that are better than berries are completely unavailable at this stage of the game. Oh, and did I mention that you need to constantly keep an eye on it as if anything so much as touches the Triceratops while it's knocked out and in the process of taming, it'll rapidly lose levels. And also, you need to micromanage it further by feeding it narcotics to keep it knocked out, otherwise it'll just wake up and you will lose all your taming progress. For a better creature like a T-Rex, this process will take over an hour. But wait, these are only level 30 creatures. If you want a creature that won't die in 3 hits, such as a level 150 T-Rex, this will take 36 minutes in the absolute best case scenario assuming you've already taken the time to grant out the kibble, and over 4 hours if not. This is already horrible, but this game is notorious for being extremely buggy. Imagine if you spent 4 hours on one in-game creature just to see it no clip through the floor and disappear forever. Now let's talk about the reviews. I'm not going to pretend that everyone hates this game, but there are a concerning amount of negative reviews from people who have played over 10,000 hours of this game. Do you know how long 10,000 hours is? This game initially released in 2015. It has been 8 years since then. 10,000 hours is over 1 year of continuous gameplay, meaning anyone with that or more has spent at least an eighth of their time playing ARK. 
It gets even worse though. The worst hour counts I've seen are people with over 35,000 hours or roughly 4 years of playtime, meaning they have spent over half their time playing ARK. The most depressing thing is reviews that contain something along the lines of, after over 6,000 hours of playing, I'm quitting. They never do escape. I once had the misfortune of playing one game for over a thousand hours myself over the pandemic. Looking at the hour count one day caused a serious existential crisis as I realized I'd wasted over 40 days of my life, and then I decided to do more productive things. I cannot possibly imagine playing a game over 10 times as much as that. These people need help. Overall, Ark is one of those games that is far better to watch than to actually play yourself. If you are going to, I highly recommend cranking up all the drop rates and taming times to at least 5 times their defaults, playing with friends, and not playing for too long. Go around, appreciate the sights, but do not turn into one of them. That's all for today folks, goodbye. Hey guys, uh, post credits editing guy here, and yeah, I did this entire video start to finish script to a uh, post video everything i did it all in one day and it's it's really it done a number on me i'll be honest this is a bad idea i've just been sitting at the computer for the entire day ever since i woke up and i have a headache and my headphones died so i'm using really bad earbuds so i don't know how good this quality is gonna be but i'm very tired so uh like the video subscribe please it mean a lot to me i Wow, okay, ambulance. Yeah, I'm gonna go sleep now. Bye-bye.